Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. So for us, it's not that happy of a Tuesday because I'm on my way to my daughter's school to pick her up because she got bit by a bug like three weeks ago. Long story, I'm gonna cut it kind of short. But we took her to urgent care as soon as we saw it. They gave her antibiotics because they said it was a bug bite that just got infected. So then, you know, she started taking the antibiotics. It wasn't getting any better. It actually kind of got worse. So we took her back and that doctor said, because we took her to urgent care, that doctor said that um, to stop giving her her antibiotics, then he gave us a prescription for a cream because he said it was an allergic reaction to a bug bite. So we did that, still never got better. Then I took her to um, a children's ED, ER, um, and basically they were like, oh no, I'm pretty sure she got bit by a brown recluse spider. And um, because basically what happened was the wound ended up turning necrotic. So now we are going to go see a plastic surgeon because she's going to need wound care where that spider bit her. I'm like, holy freaking cow, we cannot catch a break. Who else ha has kids? Okay, maybe you don't even have to have kids. Who else feels like sometimes in life you seriously just can't catch a freaking break? Uh, me. Holy cow, if it's not one thing, I'm telling you, it is another. But yeah, I was actually supposed to work today. Could not go in, obviously, because my daughter comes first, obviously. So that is my plans for right now. Other than that, I don't really know what we're gonna do. However, I do believe that we found the spider and we killed it. So that's good news because now we don't have some creepy little spider crawling around in our house. Um, but we're still gonna go through the rest of her room just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure, I thought I read somewhere that these types of spiders don't even um, make a web. So it's almost hard to find, you know, if there's more of them unless you actually find the spider. So anyway, that's where I'm headed. I'm headed off to go grab her and then um, we're gonna go home. She's gonna change and then I'm gonna head off to the plastic surgeon. And everything else I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna play it by ear. <laughs> Lily's chocolate with coffee. Perfect combination. Oh yeah. Hey y'all, happy hump day. So I decided to work out outside today because it's only 73 degrees outside. What? In Arizona, 73 degrees in May. Like, we are being so spoiled right now because usually I mean it's like in the 90s but I'm gonna take it as long as mother nature wants to give me this weather I will take it because God knows I'm not ready for a hundred and some degree weather but anyway I'm going to head to my favorite mountain spook hill to climb and that is gonna be my workout today because I am just really wanting to work out outside before it gets too too hot so that's what I'm gonna do for my workout. And then an update on Celine. I just wanted to let you guys know, um, we did take her to that plastic surgeon yesterday, as I told you guys. And honestly, she's gonna have to have surgery. So not this Friday, but next Friday, she has to have surgery and they are gonna have to do a debridement and then they're gonna have to take a skin graft from her hip to put on the wound. So. I don't know, they don't know how deep uh, the tissue damage is. So, um, depending on how deep the tissue damage is, if they end up having to go down, all the way down to where um, basically they see muscle, then she'll also be in a boot. We'll have to play that one by ear. They're not gonna know that until they go in there and actually debreed it. But anyway, yeah. I tell you what, like I said yesterday, I swear, if it's not one thing, it is another. I feel like just 
just let me up for air, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, it's always something, you know, because I don't know if y'all knew, but like over the summer, um, we've been dealing with it all the way, all through winter even. Uh, my daughter had uh, some markings on her foot that they initially thought was a birthmark and it turned out that it was a tumor and it's benign, thank goodness, but she had to have a biopsy on that and it was just, seriously y'all, it's like one thing after another and she may have to go have that tumor taken off over the summer. So, again, another thing that we're going to have to play by ear, but it's always, always something, especially when you have kids, I feel like, but um, I don't know. I'm sure even if you don't have kids, it's, if it's not one thing, it's another. It's called life, right? <laughs> Who said life was easy? Because it is definitely not. It is called life struggles, y'all. Life struggles. But anywho, like I said, I'm headed off to this mountain. I am hoping to do it at least three times. We'll see, maybe four, depending on how I feel. I am super excited because I haven't been over here to hike in quite some time. So, yes. I love working out outside. If I had my choice, I would take working out outside any day, any day. But like always, I will get up there and I'll show you guys the view even though you've seen it a thousand times. But who gets tired of that? Definitely not me. <laughs> Round four, I'm done. I will put in a picture of how many steps as well as how many floors that was. And that's all I can really say right now because I need to catch my breath. <laughs> y'all so I made it four times super proud of myself because that is a killer workout right there it takes a while to get up and down that thing four times to be honest with you it is now noon um, I'm definitely hot and tired so I'm gonna go home and chill for just a little bit and then I think I'm gonna clean up my house I'm gonna probably mop and do some stuff around the house but yeah and then just a little warning if you guys live in places like Arizona and stuff like that and you like to go hiking or if you're here visiting this is the time of the year for rattlesnakes and Gila monsters and bees so me personally I don't wear earbuds when I go hiking because then you can't hear for all the little creatures around you so um, I don't listen to music I don't do anything when I hike I just hike so that way if there is a snake or something that I don't want to come across I can hear it but just throwing that out there, somebody did ask me here um, in one of the comments, they were like, um, aren't you afraid of snakes? I'm like, well, not really, to be honest with you, because like I said, I keep my eyes and my ears open. I don't wear my earbuds. I always try to keep my eyes scanned in the area so that way I can hopefully see something before it sees me first. So um, yeah, no, I'm, I don't worry too much because I just try to be smart about it, but yeah. Definitely beware if you're here visiting or whatnot and you want to go hiking. It is that season. I can't remember if I said bees too, but yes, it is bee season as well. So beware of those too. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to go home, cool off, get some nice ice cold water because I drink every bit of my water on that walk and relax for just a little bit and then I'm going to start cleaning, which that just means I'm going to burn some more calories. What?
thinks I don't see him. But I see you. Isn't God's creatures amazing? Check that out. Happy Thursday. So I'm out for my hike because I wanted to work out outside again because it's a beautiful morning again. And I've seen people do this. So this is the area that I come and I just walk so that way I can kind of catch my breath after those two big hills. But then I see people do this and it's actually a lot steeper than what it looks. So I think I'm going to start incorporating this into my hike too because I think my butt will like this. Ooh, and this is a lot tougher than what it actually seems or looks. Oh golly, it is. This is great. Oh my gosh, that is tough. Whew. That doesn't lift up my butt. I don't know what will. Whew, that Stairmaster has nothing on this hike. Alright y'all, so this is round four. Sitting my butt on a rock and resting. But I just wanted to let you guys know, I made myself like a little electrolyte drink to come up here because I knew it was going to be a little warm by the time I got done. So this is basically water with a little bit of Himalayan pink salt, um, some of that no salt for potassium, as well as a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of lemon, and a little bit of stevia. It almost tastes like a lemon Gatorade to be honest with you but this is definitely helping keep my electrolytes up because I know I'm losing a lot because it's starting to get warm out here so I just thought I would let you guys know and it's actually pretty good when it's cold now it's kind of getting all warm and yucky I'm still gonna drink it but um it's really actually pretty good when it's cold and you never get tired of that view I don't anyway oh my golly I love it Right there. Still there. All right, y'all. Let me just say the gym has nothing on that mountain, especially when you do it four times. Oh my golly. That is like, let me just say, hiking that mountain is the best exercise I get, whether I go to the gym or do it at home or whatever. That is brutal. <laughs> I mean, I still have to do like some kind of arm workout. I'll probably do like push-ups or something, but woo-wee, that workout is brutal. <laughs> but let me just tell you, I met this lady while we were hiking. We ended up kind of, kind of hiking together. And then on the way up, I would kind of go on my own. And then on the way down, we'd kind of hike down together. But um, she's kind of in the same position. She's trying to um, go on a, you know, she's kind of on a health journey as well and she was always skinny her entire life and just recently she gained quite a bit of weight and so you know life struggles whatever it is what it is um but she was like I feel like she was kind of being hard on herself so I was like you know don't be hard on yourself it happens to the best of us it is what it is but that's the biggest thing you know is she sees that she's not where she wants to be and so she's doing something about it that is the biggest thing if your weight spiraled out of control or your um, health or your eating habits or whatever, if all that spiraled out of control, it's okay. It's reversible. Just acknowledge that it happened and then do something about it because you can't, I mean, you, it is what it is, you know? It's that kind of a thing and it sucks, yeah, but whatever. You can't go back and change it. It already happened, but you can reverse it. Because like I said, that's the biggest thing is noticing the little things that are crawling up, you know, like your weight or your horrible eating habits or, you know, your health. Maybe your health is going downhill. Because honestly, I give her props for acknowledging it so quickly because like I said, she's been thin her whole life and she just recently gained this weight. And, you know, some people go years and years and years before they acknowledge it and they realize, hey, I really need to do something about this and she acknowledged it really quickly 
and she's really trying to do something about it now. So I give her props, good for you, and way to go. That's how I feel about that. She's trying to eat better. She's not really doing keto, but she's trying to do low carb, and you know, she's also trying to work out and stuff like that, and she told me, she's like, oh my gosh, you're such a true motivator, and this and that, and she's like, you do this hill four times? I wanna do it four times, and I was like, you know what, it's okay. It took me a year to be able to climb this mountain four times. I was like, so don't push yourself, you know, you gotta, just like you have to listen to your body with the way you eat food and all that good stuff, you really need to listen to your body when it comes to working out too, because you don't want to completely overdo it, because if you do, for one, you could get sick, for two, you could make it to where you're so sore and so tired the next day that you don't want to do it the next day, so just take it slow, take it one day at a time, small little changes turn out to be big, huge changes. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Props to her, I think she's doing a great job just to acknowledge it so quickly and to be doing something about it right away. So good for her. That's how I feel about that. But I'm headed over to my parents' house. I'm gonna go visit them for a little bit and then I'm gonna go home and take a shower because I stink, y'all. So I wanted to close out this vlog. I didn't get a chance to last week because Sunday was Mother's Day and we did Mother's Day at the house. So I was a little bit busy with that. And I know I said this on a couple other videos, but if you guys didn't watch those, then happy Mother's Day to all of you lovely mothers out there. Um, but there was a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you about before I close out this vlog. Um, the first one is next week I will not be doing a vlog video because my daughter has surgery on Friday. As you guys know, but probably by now, I do work 12 hour shifts. So I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I just want to get stuff done before Celine has her surgery. And then Friday and over the weekend, I will be taking care of her. So I really won't be, um, working out I won't be I won't I really won't be doing much of anything so that's the thing is I'm you know I'm not really gonna have anything to vlog about so yeah next week don't look forward to a, a video like this because I won't be doing one um, I just wanted to let you guys know that but the following week will, will be the last week of the summer slim down challenge so of course I will have a video up that last week also, I just wanted to give you an update on those um, preferred element electrolytes. I really like those. I feel like those really do help me out in the day. I take those pretty much every single day, even if I don't work out, because I feel like it gives me more energy. I feel like it gives me um, more pep in my step. I feel like it helps me think during the day. So I'm really enjoying those, to be honest with you. And all, as always, I'll have the link down below if you guys want to try preferred elements. Another thing too I wanted to let you guys know, I'm pretty sure you guys probably figured this out by now, but the days that I work, I don't vlog. I'm gonna try to get better at at least showing you guys like the foods that I eat on the days that I work, but I really suck at that to be honest with you because I don't really eat until I get to work. And sometimes I just get so focused and so busy at work that I don't even really think about recording what I'm eating because I eat at my desk. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get better at that. I'm not gonna promise anything because like I said, I really suck at that. But I also wanted to talk to you guys, don't be super hard on yourself. You know, acknowledgement is the key. If you acknowledge that you are spiraling out of control with your health and your weight and all that good stuff, then you're winning. I feel like acknowledgement is the first step and then acting on that is the second step. So if you are following those steps, you're winning. I mean, I feel like you are doing it. You got this. So, you know, if you don't lose weight right away or if you're not seeing results right away, don't beat yourself up, you guys, because I'm telling you, it takes time. It takes time. It takes effort. And that just is what it is. But again, don't always judge yourself by the scale. Take your measurements if you have to. Try on a pair of clothes or a shirt or pants or whatever that are super, super tight. 
take pictures, take progress pictures, because the scale doesn't always tell the whole story. I've said that many, many times on my channel, but it's the truth. So don't get discouraged if you don't lose weight in the beginning. Let your body get used to it. Trust the process. The process works, y'all. Um, so another thing too, you know, if you hit a plateau, it's just a wave that you just got to ride out, you know? It is what it is. I mean, you can change up things. You can change up your diet. You can change up your exercise. Your... But honestly, even if you just wanted to ride it out, eventually your body's going to get back on track. Your body is a very smart machine, so your body knows what it is doing. When your body is ready to let go of the rest of that weight, your body's going to let go of the rest of the weight. I mean, I felt like I was in a plateau for the longest time. Maybe I still am. I have no idea. Like I said, I haven't weighed myself. Um, I don't plan on weighing myself until the end of this summer slim down challenge. I don't go by the scale. I go more by progress pictures, you know? I don't even measure myself because I'm not in this to become a supermodel. I'm not in this to become a fitness model. I'm in this for the health reasons. And to, and to be quite honest with you, compared to what my labs were when I first started this journey, I'm doing amazing. Like, it is what it is. And I feel amazing. I don't feel, even though I know I need to lose more weight, honestly, if I stayed where I am right now, I wouldn't really be that sad, to be honest with you, because I am comfortable in my own skin right now. Here's the thing, you guys. If you are happy, like, what's it matter if you have 20 more pounds to lose? If you're happy and you feel good and you're healthy and, you know, you go to the doctor and you're getting great reports with the doctor and everything else, what does it matter? If you're happy, that is what matters. Just kill it every day, eat healthy, exercise, get your sleep, don't stress, try not to stress. I know that's hard, because um, we all got some stress in our life, that's called life. Life isn't easy, if life was easy, then it wouldn't be life. <laughs> but you know, just like I said, kill it every day, just be happy, just be happy, be you, and if you're happy where you're at, no matter if you're at your goal weight or if you have 20 more pounds to lose, that's all that matters. Be happy, trust the process, and your body is a very intelligent machine and it knows what it's doing. So like I said, if you're in a plateau or if you're struggling, it's okay. It's okay because eventually your body is going to follow what you are doing so again just acknowledge it and decide that you're not willing to stay where you're at and you're golden and that already kind of puts you in that mindset for success knowing that you don't want to stay where you're at because you want to get healthy and you are worth it so don't ever let anybody bring you down don't let anybody say that you're not worth it so no matter where you decide to go with your health journey don't let anybody tell you differently that's your health journey they need to mind their own business and they need to just worry about their own health journey a lot of that is just trolls a lot of that is just haters and a lot of that is just jealousy so just ignore it all but anyway i think that's all i have for you guys this week again next week i will not have this video because i will be busy with my daughter and again the next week will be the last week of our summer slim down challenge i'll still do these videos every week but um that will be the last week of our summer slim down challenge and um we'll see where we're at with that yikes but uh again for now that's all i have for you guys Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even